So there are three types of average that we're going to look at in GCSE maths. There is uh, the mean, the median, and the mode. Okay, these are the three types of average that we work with. Now, you may also be thinking, right, well, what, what about the range? Okay, because usually we talk about mean, median, mode, and range. Now, the range is not a measure of average. Okay, the range is a measure of spread. Which means that the range tells you how spread out the data is. Okay, so if you had um, two people that are preparing for a race, and you took all of the race scores for one person, and you took all of the race scores for the other, and the first person's range is smaller, that would mean that he is more consistent. So all of his all of his scores are closer closer together and more tightly packed. If the range is larger, the data is more spread out, okay, and less consistent. So the range is a measure of spread that we use. So when we're looking at these, we're going to be looking at how we calculate them. So the mean. For the mean, we add all of the numbers up and divide by how many there are. Okay, so that is the mean. We add them all up and divide by how many there are. And effectively, the mean is the one when we say find the average of these numbers, we usually mean the mean. Okay. Now, we also have these other two. We've got the median. For the median, you must put the numbers in order first. So put the numbers in order first. Then find the middle number. Okay, so the median is the middle number. And then the mode, the final average, is the most common number. The number that crops up the most times. Okay? So each of these, main, median, and mode, can be calculated for a set of data. Um, but some, depending on the data, will be more useful than others. And it really depends upon the data that you're looking at. And we're going to look at this later. And finally, we just need to say, right, how do we calculate the range? The range is found by subtracting the smallest number from the largest. So subtract the smallest number from the largest. And that is how you can calculate the range. So you take the largest, you take away the smallest, and that tells you the range of values, how spread out the data is.